Trade Center is a great area to stay in, and this is exactly where the Conrad Dubai is located, right on the Sheikh Syed Road. With a lot of attractions and restaurants nearby, this is a fantastic location. Let's check out the Conrad Dubai together and see what this amazing five-star hotel has in store. So let's get this review started with one of the best advantages of this hotel and that's the fact that it's right opposite a metro station. Absolutely convenient. And once you come out the metro station, walk across, you are met with this oval shaped entryway with a mosaic ground and one of the highest ceiling lobbies I've seen in a long time. Very, very impressive. And the check-in was super friendly and very quick. Thank you to Alan. Thanks to being Hilton Diamond, we were upgraded to this incredible corner room. Definitely a couple of categories above the one that we had actually booked and a very nice upgrade. Hilton really knows how to treat loyal customers. That's why I'm trying to stay Diamond for the next five years so I can complete 10 years of being a Diamond member so I have lifetime Diamond. But that's a story for another day. But now we were very happy with this room. Shower, bath, luxurious amenities, one of the softest bathrobes that you can get, only to be rivaled with the Waldorf Astoria robe, which is equally amazing. But yes, we definitely love this room. We found it very interesting that there's a glass window that you can see into the bathroom, but of course we found out that there is a little button that you can press to put down the blinds. And here we have the glorious bed, very comfortable. Definitely some of the best night's sleep that we have gotten and very decent little desk to work at and it was quite dark here still but once we opened those curtains it was absolutely incredible And we really love this room. There's so much light coming in from all of these windows. The work desk is amazing. I felt quite bossy sitting in that chair with such a crazy background, which elicited quite a few uh, envious complaints from the people who I was having a meeting with. But uh, yes, this is a great room. and It feels so comfortable to be in here lying in that bed and to be able to see all around. Definitely one of our favorite places in Dubai. At about 4 p.m. we decided to go to tea time which is complimentary for Hilton Diamond members in the executive lounge and I thought this lounge was actually quite nice. It was well appointed, it was comfortable, there was enough space for everybody and the food was really good for both the tea time and the evening canopies. It was basically a full buffet. We were seriously impressed with the spread here because usually it's just a few hot canapes but they had everything. This was a real buffet and what I really found incredible was that there was barbecued beef and lamb. Where else can you get such delicious food in a lounge? Definitely worth getting lounge access in this hotel. But look how comfortable everything is here. Incredible views of all of Dubai, sun shining in, what a wonderful place to hang out or to work or just have a chat with your friends. Then we decided to call it an early night and go and enjoy our room. How is the bathrobe out of 10? Very smooth, sharp. Soft inside? Yeah, uh, it's like the Waldorf Astoria one, eh? Yes. Amazing. Of course, I didn't tell Yang that you could close the shutter when she went to the bathroom. And so when I went to the bathroom, here you can see her complaining about how unfair it all is. Switching off the lights and just staring out of the window of these kind of hotels is always such an incredible experience. I have to say it's an activity all in itself just to watch the city move and live.
And the best thing is you can control the curtains from the bed sign because they're all electronic. And of course we all know there's nothing better than a free breakfast that you've earned through loyalty. I definitely like this salmon corner. There was beetroot, smoked salmon, there was gravid lux, and of course a whole salad bar and all kinds of different sections, an Indian section. There's even pizzas for breakfast. Here's the Arab section. Absolutely spectacular. You can sit outside too if you like, but just beware that if you leave your food alone for more than five seconds, the birds will get it. And this was my first round. I had about three more of these. Can't get enough of that salmon for breakfast and, you know, scrambled eggs and chili. Amazing. Of course, we also had to hit the gym for a short while before going back to our room to chill out again. So, the Hilton hotels so far are beating all of the Accor hotels that we've stayed at. We are Hilton Diamond and only Accor Platinum, but so far the Hilton properties have been much better from a loyalty point of view. There have been more consistent upgrades, breakfast is included, the lounge access is included, and unfortunately for Accor, breakfast is not included unless the hotel has a lounge, which most hotels don't have, so that means no free breakfast. So, so far in Dubai, I would say that Hilton is winning. Yeah. So we have two hours sleep. <laughs> we do not have two hours sleep because we have to leave here too. You cannot sleep until two o'clock. Uh, what did you say? It's my heaven. <laughs> to sleep all day and all night. After descending from our lofty abode, we went down to the sixth floor and this is where the pool area is. And this is definitely the highlight of this hotel. This pool area is one of the most iconic and most beautiful in Dubai. And considering that it's on the sixth floor and not on the ground floor, it's even more impressive. And to see all of these skyscrapers when you look up is another feeling altogether. Something very, very different. There are enough sun lounges, the pool was never too full, and the waterfall is also really refreshing really one of our favorite places to go to especially to go swimming in dubai and considering that you're on sheikh Said road which is the busiest road in dubai it feels like a calm oasis and i think it's the waterfall sound that drowns out the sound of the cars and i have to say it really feels like you're not in the middle of the city And unfortunately, our stay had to come to an end, but I did discover this new machine in the changing rooms. Just put your swimming costume in there, push it down, it spins like crazy, and you take it out and it's 95% dry. Very cool little machine. And this the last scene will be of the spa, which I have until today never gone into. But I promise the next time I do a review on this place, I will definitely go check it out. And if you're interested in more five-star hotel reviews, please follow my channel. See you in the next video.